Hey, what's up, folks? John here from BLIS. Just wanted to give you the step-by-step -step tutorial for how to get set up on your BLIS trading system. So you're going to get the email, welcome email, after you submit your payment, and then you're going to go ahead and click download all attachments. So you can go ahead and save file. Okay. Then you're going to open that. Extract all. Have all the files there. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my Oanda. Um, which you should have downloaded. And if you didn't set up an account yet, all you got to do is go to File. Open an account. It's pretty standard in all the MT4 platforms. Select uh, practice account with the lowest ping. So you can see here we got 238. Hopefully your ping is better than mine. Uh, if you if you can't open a live account and get a lower ping, that's even better. I'll just go ahead and show you this. Click next, new demo account, next. Put have your info in there. Agree, you have to agree, check that. And there you go. Ready to go, click finish. And then I'm gonna go to file. Open data folder, MQL4 indicators, and I'm going to go ahead and copy the 60S, CB, JWB, three indicators as well as the candle timer, and I'm going to drag those in. You can either remove or copy. Okay, so we got that. Then I'm going to go ahead and click back button twice. Select templates. Drag the templates. Okay, then I'm going to get back again, open profiles, I'll need to download these. I'll hold down control, open a new tab. I'm going to want to download this. Save file. Open it up. Right click, extract all. We got my profiles. Sh shift click these. Go back to my Oanda here. Profiles. Oops, don't need to open that. Okay, so we got
profiles. There we go, the meta quotes. That's the thing in there. Drag that in here. Alright. So we got those items done. Now I'm going to go to Start Menu. File Explorer. Go to the C drive. Select Program Files. Okay. It's not there, it's in here. Sorry. And then, so we'll select the x86 OANA Meta Trader Sounds. Alright, so now I need to load my sounds in here. So I'm going to go back to the email. Profile pair sound alerts. Let me uh, put it in here, and it'll be this is mine. Demonstrate what it'll look like to you when you're not signed in. Or when you're using a different account, rather. Alright, so. Alright, so anyway, if you're not signed in, you're going to have to manually click download on each one of these. But if you're signed in, And what you can do is just cl click here and click download. Download all the files, all the recordings. Okay, so when that's done, you can click it and go ahead and double click. Alright, so you're good to go. You got your sounds. You can go ahead and uh, shift click, control X, and go back here to the sounds folder. Neolanda, control V, paste. Do this for all current items. Continue. that is but whatever all right so all the files made it over call this rejected by call that windows so random <laughs> All right, so I got all my files, uh, recordings in here. So I'll go back to Oanda now. I'm gonna go ahead and exit it and restart it. And I'm gonna go to. Files. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these depending on which one 
the market is at. So I'll just to select medium. Go ahead and close this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Alright, so I got all my pairs in here. Odd JPY, odd USD, Euro odd, Euro JPY, Euro USD, and USD CHF. So we've got all seven ready to go. And I probably don't need this open. Close that. Make sure everything's on the minute chart, which it is. Everything's good to go. Got the chart shift on. Control minus. I can zoom out, take a look at the chart, see what's happening, see where the market's at, where the ranges are. Um, getting an idea if it's breaking the the uh, RSI upper and lower band level here. You know, if you get a situation like this, you're looking at high volume. So you're going to be wanting to switch to the XL. So you just click this and select XL so that you won't get caught by those huge moves in the market where you're going to get in trouble on your entries. Alright, so should have the sound alerts. I'm going to go ahead and put it on ranging. See if we can get a signal here. As you can see, ranging, you're getting a lot more signals coming in. But you do have some situations like this where you have the push continuing against the signal. So ranging is only to be used in certain market conditions when you have something this kind of movement that doesn't get too deep into the RSI levels alright so I just want to talk a little bit about the interface here um, the main things you're going to want to use is the plus when you're measuring click and drag to measure the pips as well as for you know, just getting an idea about where things are at. You can reference your RSI levels with the signal, as well as referencing your band placement of the bands, the relation of the bands, as well as the awesome oscillator. So these things all come together in your trade decisions. And when you want to you have to hear the shift at the end of the chart, which just makes the chart automatically keep up with the current candle so that you don't have to keep scrolling back. But if you want to go ahead and do a back test, click this, and you can mouse roll the mouse wheel down. You can go ahead and do a back test, checking on what's happening with the market with this particular setting getting an idea of how the signals are going to be. If you get a signal in this area here, deep in the money here, get a signal like this. Um, I'm going to turn this off too. It's making me jump back. So if you get a signal entering in here someplace, you're deep in the money. Same with this one. Another great signal here. Any enter, Entering anywhere in here, coming down, popping right back up. And, uh, as long as you didn't get in too early. If you got in here, and it went down, then it went back up, maybe you didn't hit the money in time. So you, you generally want to wait towards the end of the candle timer, which is here, for your entries. There are times when you want to get in sooner, this takes practice to be able to get a feel for it. Generally you want to enter immediately on the GWB signals. The CB you want to generally wait for the highest point uh, or the expiry of the candle. If it's a first entry you definitely want to look for the highest point. If it's a re-entry sometimes you want to wait for the